Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the Lando Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install a mod, Joypad is what it's called, that allows you to use a controller to play Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get it installed. So first off, we need to go to Microphone on Just Forms, it doesn't matter. First link down below, go down there, click that, takes you to this page. We want to scroll down here until we see, get it here, and then this link. You see that? See that? We can click on that. It will now take us off to here, where we can scroll down until we see this download button. We click that, takes us off to Mediafire, we can finally click the down bu download button right here. It will now download the file, which we can keep, and we can close out of this, which is the ad it opened when I hit the download button. Now we need to download Forge as well, that's files.minecraftforge.net, or the second link in the description down below. Go down there, click that, it takes you here, where you want to scroll down until you see right up here at the very, very top, Release 1.8 of Forge. We want to click on Installer right here. Click on that. That takes us off to AdFly, where if you have an issue like this that's saying cookie's not enabled and you can't click up here, you can right click and reload, and then that will fix it. If that doesn't fix it, you need to Google how to enable cookies on whatever browser you have. Go through the tutorials found there, and bada bing bada boom, it should work. If it doesn't, there's nothing I can do. AdFly is something these ad creators have to use to make a little bit of money back of all the work they put in their mods. And nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip ad up here, and it will automatically download Forge. Let's go ahead and minimize this, and bada bing bada boom, here we go. We have two mods on our desktop. First, we want to work with Forge, so right click on it, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It will open up this nice little installer where we want to click install client and click OK. It'll go through, download some stuff, do some things, boom, Forge is successfully installed. I wanted to say woohoo and I said boom at the same time, it's weird. Forge is successfully installed. We can now delete this that we downloaded. We do need to keep Joypad mod, however. Let's go ahead and get it installed behind the Windows key on our keyboard and R at the exact same time. We want to type in percent, APP, DATA, percent, percent, at data, percent, hit enter. It will take us to this page where we want to go into dot Minecraft and then into a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. What do I do? Well, don't freak out. Simply right click over here in the white space, create a new folder and name it mods, M-O-D-S, just like that. Now you want to go ahead and click on Joypad here and drag it into the mods folder. Boom. There we go. Now let's go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.8 uh, and we'll get this rolling. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. While that's loading, I'm going to move some things so I can get to my controller, which I have set up and ready. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. We actually want to click on the profile we want to play. In my case, that's Nick's Games. Hit edit profile, not new profile. Hit edit profile on the profile you want to play. It will then take us here where we see use version. We want to click on this box right next to use version and scroll all the way down to the bottom until we see release 1.8-forge right there. There. Click that, click Save Profile, click Play, and I'll go through some stuff, download some things, and do some things, and bada bing bada boom, it will open up Minecraft. It may take it a while because Forge does have to load mods and stuff, but as you can see, there it goes, black screen, and then it'll go to the Mojang screen here, and then to the main menu. Once we're on the main menu, we can confirm that Forge is, um, you know, has the mod installed by clicking on Mods here, and right there it is, Joypad, but we can uh, work on it even more by going into single player here. And let's just say opening up the Crisis Craft world to kind of try this out. Now, I've never tried this mod out before, so we might have to change a few settings. But if we do, we can most definitely work on that. So we're in here. Let's go ahead and go into mod options, maybe. No. Options. Controls. Xbox One controller for Windows. Turn that on. Click done. Click done. Back to game. And as you can see, I move forward, move back, left, right, up, down. There you go, it is up and running. You can also probably, Y does that, and then you can select items using this selector on the screen. That's pretty cool, so there you guys have it. That is how you can use a controller on Minecraft 1.8 for, uh, for your controller needs. So there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. I make awesome Minecraft 1.8 tutorials every single day of the week. My name is Nix Games. I am out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out down that way. We've got Modtastic episode 28. That's an awesome mod in Minecraft Let's Play series where you can watch me play a ton of awesome mods and uh, FTB Unleashed over 150 mods. Go check it out. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And down the other way, we've got Minecraft 1.8.3 and how to set up a server in it. If you want a 1.8.3 server so you can play with your friends, go check out that video. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Nick's Games, and I am out, guys. Peace.